We now present For the Record. Just ahead, a surprise appointment after a surprise retirement. Looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and again traveling the state, meeting with folks. And a crisis of staffing gets worse among Wisconsin's prisons. What we know is 32 bucks an hour right now is not working. I don't know what the magic number is, but it's somewhere above that. Plus, a recap of a fiery debate. Welcome to For the Record, I'm Naomi Coles. The longest serving Secretary of State Doug LaFollette retired in a surprise announcement earlier this month, just three months into his 10th consecutive term. Governor Evers appointed Sarah Godlewski to his role. That's the former treasurer who's just coming off a failed Senate bid. Our political reporter, Will Keneally, sat down with Godlewski this week as she explains how this came as a surprise. Where we last left you, you're running for U.S. Senate. Yeah. Um, what have you been doing in the months since then leading up to now? So I've been spending time with my family and also I started an organization that was dedicated to reproductive freedom because that was something that was really important to me was fighting for rights for women to make their own health care decisions. And so understanding that you have this appointment now, how did that come about? Did the governor's office reach out to you? Did you reach out to them or how, how did that happen? Well, if you would have asked me if I would be your secretary of state, I would have told you you're full of it. So uh, this was a complete surprise. Um, I will not for, never forget, I came home after meeting with the governor and I was talking to my husband and he's like, what did the governor want? And I'm like, you're looking at your new secretary of state. And he's like, no way. Um, so it's just been a real honor to be asked by the governor to serve in this capacity for the people of Wisconsin. Wow, cool. Yeah, what was that meeting like? <laughs> so it was, I mean, it was, a, it was a, a really lovely conversation. I mean, he talked about why I like public service and why serving is important to me um, and what are some things that I envision that I could do uh, knowing constitutional offices from my time as state treasurer. And then at the end, he's like, Sarah, I'd like to appoint you. And I was like, what? <laughs> this is what I was not, I wasn't expecting this. Um, so yes, it was a real, it was a shock, but a real honor. I've been hearing too, the transition from state treasurer now to secretary of state seems like it'd be pretty similar. Are there any big differences in the office that you're anticipating here? I mean, that's one of the reasons why I spoke to the governor and he wanted to appoint me was he talked about, you're able to start Sarah on day one. And that's what Wisconsinites want. They want somebody who can get to work and start serving. and. One of the examples is I was just elected to chair a $1.4 billion trust fund. It's the exact same role that I actually was elected to do as state treasurer. And so these are things that are important to the people of Wisconsin. So we can hear, actually we're in the Senate parlor, we can hear kind of outside these fourth grade tours going on, right? So in that kind of civics mindset, if you're going to kind of tell the fourth grader here um, what the Secretary of State office does, how would you describe it for them? I mean, the Secretary of State is a role that helps make sure Wisconsin can do business, whether it is authenticating different documents to making sure that we are certifying, you know, we put the seal um, on elections. It's really to ensure smooth operations for the state. And to knowing that you have these next um, three and change years, close to four years, um, do you have any priorities that you'd want to take the office in a certain direction for? Well, I've been in the office for what, a little over 72 hours, so I'm quite new, but something that's really important to me is I want to listen. I think too often elected officials just go around talking a lot. And I think we need to do more listening. And so one of the first things I plan on doing is traveling the state, listening to Wisconsinites, meeting with clerks who kind of serve in similar functions at the local level, and then really building a vision that repre best represents the people of Wisconsin. I'm curious too, because um, Doug LaFollette had mentioned kind of as he was leaving, um, kind of the shrinking of the office and like the short staffing, the resources. Do you have any kind of consternation about that at all? In my mind, I think one of the things I've learned as serving as state treasurer is always about the person and doing with the role what you can. And so to me, I'm looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and again, traveling the state, meeting with folks to really figure out how we can best serve people. We heard from Republicans a call to hold a special election. Um, do you have any reaction to that? Would you run in a special election for the seat? The governor has the authority to appoint constitutional offices when they vacate. And this is nothing that is different from before. I mean, Governor Walker appointed 
a justice to the Supreme Court when it was vacated. That was actually Justice Kelly. And when Governor Evers left his role as DPI secretary, the governor appointed his successor. And so this is just following the Constitution of Wisconsin, and the governor's not deviating from that, and he, that's what he was elected to do, was to uphold the constitutional responsibilities. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just ahead, a staffing crisis in Wisconsin's prisons and how the legislature holds the key to a possible solution.